Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect my ClickFunnels account to my Shopify store, which in turn connects to Amazon FBA to fulfill my orders. Now, I've had several people asking me how I approach this problem. I'm guessing it's coming from this video right here. They're seeing this, and they're seeing that they could ship physical products with ClickFunnels, and then they're wondering how the heck to do it. So I'm going to show you how I do it, and if you like it, you can implement it. If you don't, Pick something else, do what works for you, of course. So currently, to connect ClickFunnels to fulfillment, whether that's Shopify or Amazon FBA, there are pretty much two tools that I know of. There's Orderlytics and Zapier. So Orderlytics connects to both Amazon FBA and Shopify, and its sole purpose is to create this connection between ClickFunnels and your fulfillment center. And then there's Zapier, which of course interacts with over 500 other applications, but you could use it to connect to ShipStation. So you connect ClickFunnels to ShipStation, which connects to Amazon FBA, or you could use it to connect to Shopify and you could create orders that way. Now these two solutions are fine when you're doing one item at a time. One item at a time, these are fine solutions. So you are selling one book on your funnel, which leads into another one-time offer for a bookmark or something and that leads into another one-time offer for some reading glasses or whatever and you just have three different products quantity of one and that that would be fine these options would work for you here but if you're running multiple products if you're trying to create bundles if you're doing and applying discounts or you want a consolidated tracking source like my Shopify store is used for tracking inventory and tracking costs and all that stuff, then these solutions are not fine because we lack full control and features. So with my way here, it's about 80% automated and 20% manual. So you're going to have to do a little bit of order fulfillment or order processing or pay somebody else to do it. Now the big win here, like the, the main reason I do this is because I can create instant bundles whenever I want to. If it's in my Shopify store, I could bundle it together. Now, if you were on Amazon and you wanted to create a bundle, you'd have to physically bundle the products together and saran wrap them and place them in the Amazon FBA warehouse as a bundle and list them that way and etc. But by going with this method, you could just create like a pseudo bundle that you sell on ClickFunnels. Let's say you bundle three products together. And then when somebody orders that bundle on ClickFunnels, you just order those three products within your Shopify store and you just send out those three products separately, but they're together as the bundle, if that makes any sense. So that's really cool because now I can bundle whatever I want together and make special offers for that using ClickFunnels. Now the manual process takes about 75 seconds to do per order. Now some orders might take 45 seconds, like if they just ordered one product and their shipping information was entered into the system correctly, it's very quick. Whereas other orders might take two minutes if they ordered multiple products, a bundle, and I have some sort of discount I wanna show them, and their shipping information's incorrect, it might take about two minutes. So on average, I'd say about 75 seconds to process one order following the way I'm about to show you versus something like Orderlytics, they charge you $1 to $1.50 to process one order. So if you do the math there, so one times 48 would be $48, or $1.50 times 48 would be $72 an hour. You can quickly see that the Orderlytics concept, it does get expensive relatively quickly, and nine times out of 10, you could probably find somebody to basically have a data entry job, whether it's in the United States, you probably got a friend or a mom or somebody that's at home with their kids and could use an extra $20, $40 a day. If you pay them $20 an hour, you're coming out ahead here. Or you could outsource to the Philippines and pay someone $10 an hour for order fulfillment and again, you're coming out ahead. Now you do need a paid Zapier account in order to accomplish this. So if you don't have one of those, it's like 20 bucks a month and it's gonna save you so much freaking time. Now I do use Shopify to fulfill from FBA, but you can likely process orders straight to FBA if you want to. I'm not exactly sure on that process because I honestly have not really messed with it. I've always just used Shopify. So in this video, I'm gonna show you ClickFunnels to Zapier 
to Shopify. And then Shopify, of course, notifies Amazon FBA to release my products to my customers. All right, so here I am inside of Zapier and I'm gonna show you my automation that I've created. And I'm not gonna get into like the step-by-step -step click here to do this in this video, but if it's something you need, let me know. And I'll be more than happy to make that video. But I didn't want this thing to be like 45 minutes long, so I'm just gonna give you the, the overview and I think you'll be able to figure it out on your own. So first comes first, we have our trigger here in Zapier and our trigger is the event that triggers this automation. In our case, it's a new purchase inside of ClickFunnels. So we'll go through here and I'll just go through each one of these steps. So trigger app is ClickFunnels. This happens every time there's a new purchase and it's connected to my ClickFunnels account and we pick the funnel that we want Zapier to be looking for purchases on and funnel steps we want to just select all funnel steps so that way we can track any purchase within that particular funnel I do have it connected to active campaign so you could add that step in there you could connect it to your autoresponder tool but that's not what's important right now what is important is we need to then connect to Google Sheets now if you're not familiar with Google Sheets it's essentially an online or web-based version of Microsoft Excel. So it's just a, spread, a spreadsheet program. And what we're gonna do is use Zapier to update our spreadsheet with the new purchase information. So we select Google Sheets here. We're gonna create a new spreadsheet row. So create spreadsheet row. We need to make sure it's connected to our account, of course. And then we need to select our template. So we have our spreadsheet. So the name of the file we'll be working with, the worksheet name, so whatever tab we're on. And then we have to pull in the information for our particular columns. So our contact information, our shipping information, what they ordered, so their product information down here. We pull in all that and we fill it into our spreadsheet, which mine looks like this. And I'll include a copy down below so you can go ahead and use my template if you want to. But it essentially looks like this. I have my order date, product name, so that way I know what the heck they ordered so I can ship it to them. First name, last name, email, address, address to, city, state, zip code, country, process by. So this is tracking on my side here so I can quickly identify who processed the order. As you can see, I processed these orders. When did I process them? And then any sort of notes I have with regards to these particular orders. So that's what the spreadsheet looks like. And so every time somebody comes and makes a new purchase, that spreadsheet gets updated with a new order information. And I'll just be sitting there and this process by when and notes part will be blank. So I will know that this is a new order and I need to go in and I need to process it within Shopify so that way they get their stuff. All right, and then the next step of this automation is to create a customer inside of Shopify. So we need to go ahead and connect our Shopify store. We create customer and our template looks like this. We transfer the first name over, last name, contact email address, the street address, the city, the state, the country, the United States, or if you're doing other countries, of course, you would have that option there. And then zip code, phone number if you're collecting that, and then any sort of other information you want. So that way, Zapier will create the customer for you inside of your Shopify store. So that way that information's there and you can quickly load up that customer, connect the product to their order and process the payment. So that's the Shopify step there. And then I added another step so that it would send me a text message every time a new order came through my funnel. But that's not really needed to be covered in this video. So again, the process is, a new purchase is triggered within ClickFunnels. We go ahead and update a spreadsheet row in our Google Docs or our Google Sheets. And we also create a customer within our Shopify store. And that's pretty much the automation. So a few things I wanna point out to you are that you need to go ahead and make sure that the payments processed within Stripe before you go ahead and process the order within Shopify. Because whenever somebody places an order within ClickFunnels, 
it's going to transmit that data over to Zapier here and Zapier is going to push it into your spreadsheet and it's not going to check if the payment actually went through. So that's something that you're going to need to manually do. So you just open up Stripe and make sure that the payments processed. Like right here you see that when I checked the individual had declined so their payments failed for one reason or another so in this particular instance I did not go into Shopify and process their order alright so to finish out this example here let's say we have an order that we need to process so we see what they ordered we got all their contact information and it hasn't been processed by anyone yet and we'll pretend like we went over to Stripe and we made sure that the payment actually went through. So we're good to go and we're ready to process it within Shopify. So we'll come over to Shopify here, go into your orders here, and then create order. Come up to find or create a customer. Go ahead and enter in the customer's name that's associated with the order that we're processing. Then go ahead and find the products that they ordered. Make sure you have the proper quantities and everything. So in this example, there are three. So I'll go ahead and bump it up to three. And then I would select Marcus Paid here. And create order. And it says buy postage and fulfill items. So I'd hit continue. Select my shipping method, standard shipping. And then I would click fulfill items and I would transmit this order information over to Amazon FBA and Amazon FBA would then process the information and ship the products to the customer. And so to finalize everything, I'd come back into my nifty spreadsheet here, select that I processed the order, put in the date that I process it just for tracking purposes. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you found this video helpful to some extent. If you need any more information, please leave a comment or reach out to me and I will help point you in the right direction.